the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a God. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lied in thy bosom. Okay, first and foremost, I want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekai, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akims that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be edifying. First and foremost, to the whole elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And in today's lesson, the topic, I just want to get into the way how trust is universal. All right, is a universal method. All right, that everyone claims to have. Okay, but it's never on display fully. Okay, well, trust is always on display, whether it's distrust or trust. So, the scriptures give us guidelines on how to trust, what to trust, who to trust. All right. And trust is critical. So as in trusting, you have to implement acuteness. All right. It comes by trusting comes by the way of observation. All right. Observing what you're trusting in, knowing what you trust in that, man. That's why we push all our chips to the table and put all our marbles in a circle because we got the we got the trust of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. And the scriptures say he that is hasty to to. To credit a man is light-minded, man. You see? So not only men, it speak of the trust of women, which it says, keep the doors of thy mouth closed to her that lie in thy bosom. All right? Uh, it speaks about the woman, which is your, your, your main squeeze. All right? It speaks about friends who you believe, you know, have a love for you. But a friend is only a friend if he serve you. I will buy him. I will shop. Because... His, he has the fear instilled in him, all right, that he wouldn't do uh, anything to you, man. A man that don't serve the Lord, he would do anything to you, man, because his thoughts and his actions are not predicated on the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So in this topic of lesson to them, we'll just get into who can you trust, man, all right? And remember, for as brothers go, all right, remember that the curse of the evil eye is on our brothers. All right, this matter of fact, let me get that. This Deuteronomy uh, 28 and uh, 54. It says, so that the man that is tender among you, and I'm going to go into various columns of trust. Therefore, all right, it'd be, you know, it's, there's no speculation on, all right, well, can I trust him or can I trust her or can I trust this or can I trust money? I'm going to try, Lord willing, I cover all those uh, those avenues. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Now, let me, let me, let me see something real quick, all right? Let me see Deuteronomy 54. Now, what the fuck? <laughs> it's tripping. I'm saying do it around me on the guy. Oh, all right, all right, so, uh, this do it around me 50, 28 and 54. Because, you know, one would say, it say so the man that is tender. All right? Of soft word or gentle, gentle words. Meaning, one who has soft words or gentle words is one that you would have a... a a profound love for man, all right. Meaning what? He's one that's within you. He tender hearted. He, all right. Let me see this. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, pretty much is speaking of your brother. All right. Let me see the tender, tender hearted. It don't mean no, no, uh, you know, gay shit. All right. <clears throat> right. When you're going to a uh, delicate, it means to be happy about. All right. To marry with, you know, to marry with. All right. And you do that pretty much with what? Your brother, man. All right. So it says, and towards the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. All right. So. It give all right. You got the the outline in which that okay. Now I know how to trust. All right, those 
Because there's a, 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 a near trust and there's a full trust, man, if you can receive that. But once again, it comes by the way of acuteness, man. All right. And we're required as men of the Lord to, you know, have the observation of acuteness. Let's get this this word acute. All right. It's a. Uh, this is in the online etymology. I'm going to get straight to the point. It says sharp pointed. All right. Intelligent, cunning. All right. To. Uh, pretty much of what? Intellect, man. All right. I'm going to get some online. Uh, I mean, I'm going to get a definition of it. But the point is to be sharpened, all right, because we're we're uh, demanded by the Lord to uh, have us uh, to be circumspect, all right. That's the look uh, in a 360 degree angle. That means to check everything, all right. That don't mean to just go in a circle and spinning around and think you're looking at everything. That means to check everything according to the scriptures. A real man that use observation, all right, it coming by the weight of or the scriptures. And just observation won't get you into the kingdom of heaven. Y'all wish y'all see that. All right. But it's in, it's in you from what you observe, what you observe, man. All right. What you observe is what you could take from or put inside you. What they be, of course, of course if, it, if it's uh, knowledge and wisdom of the truth, then you observe that in you what? That become a part of you, man. That's how the kingdom is a part of you, man. You are building a kingdom from within. All right. This is the word acute. It says, Having, having or demonstrating ability to recognize or draw fine extent distinctions. All right, being what real, you know, and keen man, a brother from you know the camp down here, the you know the the, the, the um the Akraya, we went into that man. All right, the art of being keen. So you know, in a roundabout way, it's just uh. I'm just relating acuteness with basically trust in this in this topic, man. Being keen and trusting, man. All right. So uh get back to that 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 Deuteronomy. Because you gotta understand with, with women, with men, okay, they are uh, a lot of people are driven from their, their lust, man. They haven't exercised the they haven't exercised the, the the scripture that says to have their body fully undone, man. So a man either driven by his lust or he's driven by the fear of the Lord. All right. And that's no way around it. If you're not driven by the fear of the Lord, you serve the flesh, man. You see? So that means the flesh have dominion over you. It's not It's not like, you know, it take a rocket scientist to figure that out. All right. And when you observing, all right, the thing you, you may put be putting your trust in the things that's uh that can be detrimental in a way to you then and if you get let down voila <laughs> i mean what did you expect man all right so i'm gonna jump into the men for us dealing with the trust all right and you know once again the woman as well this is on um, jeremiah chapter 9 verse 4 it says take ye heed everyone Take ye heed every one of his neighbor, which our neighbors are our brothers, all right? And your sister coming of a man, so that's intertwined. That's twain, all right? When you go into bind, it goes into children, which is sons, which the sons create the daughters. It says, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant and every neighbor will walk with slanders, you see? So, you got to know what, who and what to trust in. Which the Lord gave you a house, man. All right? He gave you a house to dwell in. And in that house, <laughs> you know, is all the, the, the characteristics of righteousness, man. On how to follow, what to follow. All right? He set up, he set up elders and apostles. All right? Just to show you the way that you may not fall thereby, man. You see? So it's really no excuse all right, to be putting your trust in things that's going to give you a reward of, of detriment, man. You see, it says, uh, and they will deceive everyone, his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. So if a man is not speaking the truth, all right, by default, he's not trustworthy. All right. And even a man that's speaking the truth, the scriptures speak about that. When David saying, you know, 
they that walk down to me with a household of truth. So it's very critical that we implement acuteness to how we judging uh, uh, men and people, man. It's not personal, all right? This comes down to business at the end of the day because we all about the Lord. You know, I say that in meekness and fear and humbleness and humility, man, all right? But being about the Lord come with a standard, all right? And that standard, okay, is the trust in the Lord, man, and believe that the Lord, all right, is going from on high give you those attributes you need to cut to continuously follow him in righteousness man all right regardless to the things surrounding you you see so if you're paying a lot of observation to the things around you hey sometimes your observation can kill your attention meaning you observing something too fucking hard man all right or you're into that observation so you're not observing other things man all right everything has this uh, measure of observation. So observation come by the way of measure, okay? It says, uh, and I would not, they have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity, man. All right? Oh, I, man, I love you, son. Really? <laughs> Do you really love me, man? You know, if you really love me, then you know that the scriptures say, um, love is the fulfilling of the law. Is you teaching me the law? All right? Is you practicing in the law? Is you leading by example? By uh, um, um, following the law, statutes, and commandments? <laughs> All right? That I may go in? Are you, are you, are you exercising that grafted word that you may live thereby? All right? So it says... Thy habitation is in the midst of deceit. Thou, through deceit, they refuse to know me, say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see? So, that's the man, all right? Back in Micah 7 and 10, it says, Then she, it says, Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lie in thy bosom. Because a man believe in pillow talking, man. Jake, in this truth, all right? I'm not saying what you do your personal time with your woman. There's not no scripture, all right? But this scripture clearly say keep the doors of thy mouth closed to her that lie in thy bosom. So do that mean when you land down and she land on your chest, rubbing your, your chest, you know, whatever, all right? Which this is your main squeeze. So if this apply to your main woman, how much more any other woman, all right? If it's saying keep the doors of thy mouth closed, do you just lay there like a mute? Like a, a dumb, you know, just deaf. No, man. All right? It means those things, let not your right hand, left hand know what your right hand doing. All right? Some things is a balance. You give. All right? Some things is for her to hear and some things is for not for her not to, man. You think she tell you everything? <laughs> Jake. <laughs> you see? But I'm going to jump to 10. It says, so that's the man and the woman. Because remember, the curses is on our people, all right? By default, Israelites was made righteous, man, all right? You, like you said, you could see the right. They are praise the Lord, Jesus Christ, don't really know them. You know, you could see the righteousness in them, but just on this side, all right, their, their, their wickedness is bred in them, all right? They can't, you, we're not going to get that full effect of an of a, of a Israelite, all right? Even a two-third in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to get the full effect of them into the kingdom of heaven. And that's just what you got to live by right now, man. Whether it be your uncle, your mama, your brother, your sister, whoever, man, or your family members. This is Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall sit, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Yahweh thy power? Because that's the same woman that lying your bosom, man. You ought to say, where is the Yahweh thy power? What about Job? You see what happened to Job, huh? Hey, we got exam examples, all right, on how and what to do, man. So we can't make excuse. The Lord may show, all right? I'm going to put it the way you can't have excuse, all right, for for, uh, uh, for being basically frail towards the things that I told you to harden your spirit against, man. You see? It says, mine eyes shall 
Behold her now shall she be trodden down as the Maya in the streets. All right? But that's the point, man. You see? Because you got to know how to recognize your enemy, man. All right? <laughs> and the way of record, uh, uh, how you... You do that by the, the recognition of, of, of recognizing what and who are your enemy. Or your enemy is anyone that don't serve you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? All right? <laughs> that's just, that's plain. You see? I'm going to jump to um, Micah 7 and 2. It says, the good man is perished out of the earth and there is none upright among men. So, who are the upright men? Are the devout, just men? Them that serve the Lord. All right? And you can't worry about, oh, man, who is a righteous man? Is you serious? For your righteousness is as a filthy rag. So what I mean by that, those is that in a household of faith. Hey, you let the Lord sort that out, man, at the end of the day. You can't just be in a ministry, all right, wondering all day who the fuck on side you, man. All right? That's a lack of faith. At the end of the day. <laughs> and faith come by, by the measure of ways of many things. Faith is like deep waters, man. It says, they all lie and wait for blood. They hunt every man, his brother with a net. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince at uh, Salaki. That was just two I meant to get. All right. So, this is the whole reason why it's critical, you know, remembering the evil eye, the, the curses, all right? And who can you trust, man? You see? And implementing the cuteness is, matter of fact, this is Sarat. Twenty seven. And 16, who, well, uh, I mean, 12, if thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. So there's a practice of observation. All right. Because observation is not just what you're looking at. All right. It's how you're, it's how you're, uh, deciphering what you're looking at. Cause we have looked at a lot of things like prior to the truth. A lot of things was right in front of my face, but I didn't have the spirit of the uh, deciphering, man. Deciphering, man. All right. So there's a spirit of deciphering, which goes into a discernment, keenness. All right. But you ought to have the observation of deci deciphering. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to look at something, but it's another thing to decipher it. All right. It says, uh, be, be continual among men of understanding. In a congregation of the godly, man. Those who know to fear the Lord and to serve the Lord. You see? This is a uh, Sirach 32. And 23. It says 22. And beware. 20. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall and stumble, not among the stones, because there's a way, all right, that we believe is, all right, it's cool, this person got a, you know, profound love for me or whatever, and if you're in a true man, if you're on that level, you know, which, hey, it need to be spoken of, because, you know, a man will believe, you know, in the flesh, like, man, this person, you'll put your trust in all in the flesh until... It let you down, and then it what? It'll pull your ass off the truth, cause that's where your your your, your love on um, reside at, man. You see, it says going away. Go not in a way where thou mayest fall and stumble. Among the stones. Be not confident in a plain way, meaning, you know, to be confident in a plain way is to be pretty much over, uh, uh, like you, you, you are more than a matter that you, <laughs> you know, you, you, it's like you, 
it's like you're 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 wise in your own conceit. All right. It says, and beware of thine own children. So even the children, <laughs> it comes to a, a level of trust with the children, man. Because in Micah 7 and 5, it says, the son dishonor it the let me get it. 7 and 6. It's a lot. Of, it says, for the son dishonor it the father, the daughter rise it up against her mother. The daughter love against her mother-in-law and a man's enemy or men of his own household. That's why the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, give, uh, I ain't go to it in a minute, but it says, um, give not your life to your children or something like that, man. Matter of fact, let me try to find that. I know it's an apocryphal, you know, Lord willing, I can find it. All right. It says, uh. Locking this um Sirach 16. I mean it's all it's all good, man. I'm trying to find it when it says uh let me see if I can find it. It's locking man. They give not children, your own children control over you over your life. I ain't thinking me going to where well, sons, Salaki. Let me try to find it. This is um Sirach 16. I read this though. This good. Desire not the multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. This all of all of the scriptures dealing with trust, man. Though thou multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. You see. So if it goes into your children or uh, ungodly sons, how much more into men you know, you grew up with, all right? Your fathers, your mothers, all right? Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand, and better is it to die without children than to have them that are ungodly, man. So better is to have a friend that's godly than to have one friend that's godly than to have a a million friends that's ungodly, man. You see? It's, some, it's dealing with the... I know it's dealing with the children. If I could find it, Baba could shop. Yup. This is a rock 33 and 19. Perfect. That's the spirit, man. Give not... 33 and 19, give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another. Lisa, repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. You see? As long as thou livest and has bread in thee, give not thyself over to any, man. <laughs> you see? They got scriptures on that, man. Don't give your trust, man, to any. All right. This is a rock 32 and 22. And beware of thine own children and every good work. Trust thine own soul. For this is the keeping of the commandments. He that in, he that believed in Yahweh, take heed to the commandments. And he that trusted in him shall never fail the worse. All right. So guess what? I would trust is already redeemed of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's already bought with a price, man. Meaning what? You can't put no price. Uh, it's no value. All right? It's invaluable. All right? A real man in the law is going to stand on principles and morals. He can't be bought over, man. Whether this be, whether this between is the love of his life, quote unquote, all right? Or, or his children who a man loves dearly. It don't matter, man. All right. So rock 33 and 21. For better is it that children should seek the thee than, than that thou should stand in their courtesy. It says, and all thy works keep through thyself the preeminence. Meaning what? Keeping that 
keeping that line of uh, 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 that line of trust to the most high, man. All right. Knowing that it goes, it goes far beyond what the eyes can see, man. Leave not a stain in thine honor. All right, because you're a, a <laughs> trusting in men, women, and children, or whatever the jobs, whatever money is going to leave you with a stain of honor, man. All right, because it's going to what? It's going to fade away, man. You see, this is a uh, Sirach uh, 33 and 3, and it reads, A man of understanding. Trusted in the law, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle, man. <laughs> See, we like I said, we know what to trust in, man. Jake just wanna fulfill his flesh and trust in the fleshly things, man. All right, which is once again not guaranteed to you, man. All right, this is Sirach thirty-six and twenty-six. <laughs> Who would trust a thief well appointed that skipped from city to city? Who would believe a man that had no house and lodge whatsoever the night taken him, man? Because men desire the night who are cut off in their place. All right. And when a man has no house, is is you can liken that it's synonymous or symbolic to a man who don't have no uh control over his spirit, man. All right. A house, your abode or your tabernacle is you. All right, because it don't matter where you lay at, you could be righteous, man. It says the son of man have nowhere to lay his head, man. The birds have nests, all right? But the son of man had nowhere to lay his head, but though yet he was righteous, man. So that house there is his righteousness, a, a, a man on um, spirit, man, all right? And Elijah whatsoever the night taking him, man. <laughs> you know? So... Our carefulness is to, is to our embedment, man. You see? Because the scriptures require you to be, <laughs> to be on point and intelligent, man. This is Isaiah 42 and 18. So as, as once again, as men of the Lord, this is, this is the requirement of us, man. Isaiah 42 and 18. So if you don't understand these things, all right? These are things that can make you fall uh, out the truth, man. All right? You can fall on stony ground because these things choke the word. All right? And, and what? And you wither away. Isaiah 42 and 18. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind that ye may see. <laughs> to what to trust in? Which way to go? What to do? Who is blind but my servant? Or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect? And blind as Yahweh's servants, seeing many things, but thou observest not, obeying the ears, but he heareth not. You see? So you can see many things, but you gotta be able to observe it, which is Shema. Let me get this word. Strong's H 8104. Shamad. Shaman. This is how you keep your life, man. It says to keep God observe, give heed. To keep have charge of. To keep God, keep watching, ward, protect to save your life, man. This is it. All right? So your trust, what you putting your trust in is going to be predicated off what saves your life or what kills you, man. To treasure up in memory. To keep within bounds to restrain. All right? To preserve. All right? It says, To God be circumspect, take heed, to look narrowly, to mock. All right? So, it says, Seeing many things, but thou observest not. So the things that you see, you must take heed to. All right? And taking heed to it is only measuring it according to the scriptures, man. Whether it be righteous to do or unrighteous, man. You see? But with that, man, until the next time, I want to say shalom.